Yes lads, how's it going? Max here and today welcome back to a brand new video, something I've been wanting to bring to my channel for a long long time. I've mentioned it in the past and it's basically just talking about the weak results that have just happened, some of the major facts like let's say for example that Costa tackle against the keeper last night Adrian, how was he not sent off? Let's start with that. Well, let's not start with that literally right this second. But basically, this is what I want to do. I want to talk to you guys. I want you guys to give me feedback. Basically, like a big discussion down below each week, potentially. Whenever there's a massive group of games that have been played throughout the season, whether it's Sunday, Saturday, Monday Night Football, I don't know what day this is going to go up. It can be whenever. I don't even know what I'm going to call this. But as you guys know, if you follow me on Twitter, I'm always tweeting about football. Whenever football's on, I want to get involved. I want to talk about it. So I want to do my own thing, whether it, I don't care if it doesn't get millions of views, I'm not there to do it, I just want to get your guys' opinions, I want to talk to you guys about football, and so I've got some key points down, I've got 10, so if I can get 10 maybe each week, whether it's talking about someone's goal, Coutinho's free kick, whether it's about an impact player who's like breaking onto the scene, who hasn't been like known throughout the last few seasons, let's say someone like Harry Kane, like he's just banging in goals for fun, not yet. Not yet, but he will be. At the moment, I'm just keeping it towards the Premier League because obviously that's where the hype is at the moment. Like people have got their fantasy teams, um, and just just in general, there's been like one game played for each team so far. So whenever there's a big game, whether it's like Messi versus Ronaldo, Real Madrid, Barcelona, when those games happen, we can talk about them. But for now, we're just going to talk about the Prem. Drop your thoughts down below what you actually think about this. What I should even call this? I'm even going to have clips like to the side um, when I'm actually talking about certain situations and just in general. Let's just get into it. I've got 10 points up on my computer that I want to make a note of, and they're about various clubs in the Prem. We've got City, we've got Liverpool, we've got Palace, we've got Leicester, we've got Spurs, obviously, we've got Arsenal, we've got Chelsea, we've got West Ham, we've got, we got the bunch. So starting off, we're going to go through the Premier League results. Now, if you weren't living under a rock, I'm sure you weren't. You will know the results by now. So I'll quickly whiz through them. Remember, if you're one of these supporters of the clubs and you want to drop something down below, feel free. So we've got Hull that beat Leicester. Massive result for Hull. No one expected that. Mahrez equalised from the spot where it probably shouldn't have even been the penalty. Like, it was outside the box, the tackle. I'm sure all of you know, um, know about that. But Snodgrass in the 57th minute. Ball came out just in just inside the box. I'd probably say about 12 yards out. It looked like smashed it home, left-footed. Great signing already for Hull. I mean, look, they've got three points. Fair play to them. Since we're talking about Leicester and Hull, Hull, honestly, there's not much I can really slate them. Don't, let's just say everyone thinks they're going to get relegated. They've played one game and they've got three points. What more can they ask for? Like, that's Hull. Leicester, on the other hand, I believe that, regardless who it is, have never actually lost on the opening day of the season. So, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I heard that. And also, Danny Drinkwater has re rejected a new deal of £80,000 a week. Eighty grand a week. Like, Leicester fans, I'm sure some of you are watching me, because when I did the vlog, I was getting a lot of hey when bloody Leicester scored. Um, like, Leicester fans, if any of you are actually out there, watching me, that is, then tell me your thoughts on this, because how can he go from not doing very well in the last few years to suddenly having a brilliant season last year, snubbing his nose, like Vardy's staying, that's another thing to talk about, Kante obviously left, but... What, is he hoping that another team is going to come in and offer him a good deal? I know there's rumours with Spurs. That's just rumours. I, I honestly don't even know if I want him because he's whoever we sign now, unless they're like on the verge of world class or absolutely unbelievable, they're not just going to suddenly be chucked straight into that start in 11. It's just not going to happen. So Danny Drinkwater, pff, we'll see what happens with him. But if Spurs did sign him, we'd have to get rid of Mason, Carroll or Bentaleb. That's... We just have to, we'd, otherwise we'd be flooded in midfield. Swansea beat Burnley 1-0 at Burnley, thanks to Leroy Fur late goal in the 82nd minute. Now, I'm not going to sit here and talk to you guys loads about that, because I have nothing about, I have no idea about that game. Not sure if you know who my friend Vizzy is, you must, you must have heard about him. He's like the only Burnley fan that I know that's generally in the FIFA community. So if you don't know who he is, it's V-I-Z-E-H. Just search that on YouTube, you'll come across him. Goes to all the Burnley games, he'll keep you up to date with that. That's if you're a Burnley fan. That's my boy Vizzy. Same goes to West Brom versus Palace. Rondon scored now. That's why they've brought him in. They they brought him in, was it last season, to score goals. They've won a game. They've done exactly just that. And I'm just looking at my points. I haven't actually wrote anything about down either these two clubs. Obviously, Balassi has now gone to Everton. Oh, a hefty transfer fee. What's it, 25 million? I had this debate on Twitter that I said I wanted him. And I would have been happy to pay that sort of money. And there was a lot of people saying, nah, shut up. He's not worth that. Well, 
He might not be, but if you surround him by a lot of the players that Spurs has, the way that we play, we spread the ball about the pitch. I mean, he likes to do his tricks, but but he's a general good player. He's got pace, he can finish, and I just I am 100% sure if a bigger club did come in for him, he would just adapt, and he's one of these players, he would score a lot of goals. I think he'll do well at Everton. Oh, I hope he does anyway. But obviously, let me know your thoughts on that. Now, moving on, we've got the Everton-Tottenham game. Now, this is one of the games that, pff, if Spurs had gone 1-0 up and drew, I'd have been disappointed. But the way we came back, we dominated in the second half, Everton dominated us in the first half. I can only say I'm happy with that result, just, just for the fact it was away as well. Barkley, free kick, drifted in. When one of those where it goes all the way through and ends up going in. I hate those goals, but they happen. Then Lloris got substituted after that because he dived into the post or done something to his hamstring, I believe. I'm not quite sure what it was. Let's just hope he's bloody not out for too long. Vaughan came on. Delafeu got played through a couple of times and Vaughan made some great saves. So Vaughan, we did all right. Hopefully he's not going to start our next game, but we will have to wait and see. Hopefully Lloris is back. Hopefully he just took him off just, just so he just... Ugh. Janssen came on and started playing with Kane up top. So obviously, that was the first time we've seen those two in action together. And hopefully, it's not the last because I want to see Janssen and Kane playing together. Moving on, Lamella scored a great header. Walker whipped the ball in. Header. When does Lamella score headers? <laughs> he normally doesn't even know how to shoot properly unless it's a Rabona. Excuse me. So that was great to see. I'll show you the goal right here. Obviously, the ball got played in, like I said, by Carl Walker. Lamella headed it in. It was a great header, to be fair. So Spurs got a point, and we move on. Middlesbrough were at home to Stoke, and they drew 1-0. Negredo, new signing, getting on the score sheet. Early doors, 11 minutes in. That's going to be a cracking signing for them, because the guys played high level of football. Like, when he was at City, he was playing Champions League. So they've got a Champions League goal scorer playing for them. Downing, obviously, still on the wing for them. He can whip those balls in. Negredo's going to be scoring a few goals like that all season. I didn't see the goal, so I'm not saying the goal's like that. It might have been. But anyway, that's what's going to happen this season. And Shakiri getting the goal for Stoke. He was a menace last season. I'm sure he's going to be exactly the same this season. I look forward to seeing him playing, to be honest. He's, he's just one of those players. He's very quick, very sharp, but he looks fat. He, he looks fat. Southampton drawing at home to Watford. Redmond getting on the score sheet. Another one will draw. That's the third one that I've just said in a row. Watford got Ben Watson sent off. I'm literally reading this off of the screen in front of me, so I haven't actually just got this all stored up in, in my brain. I wish I did. And Etienne Capu actually scored early doors nine minutes in. That guy, he just makes me laugh. His first season at Watford, I think he got honestly really impressed for them. He got he just one of these players. He gets the ball down on the deck, spreads it around. He's actually got an alright shot on him as well. Not that FIFA suggests. He's got like 60 shooting on that, but who goes by a bloody FIFA card rating? Most people do. Most most people do. On Twitter, anyway. Whenever there's a new signing, like, yeah, he's got 90 pace on FIFA. Doesn't work like that, does it? Pep Guardiola had his first win as City boss in the Premier League with a 2-1 victory over Sunderland. Defoe getting on the score sheet for Sunderland. An own goal from McNair and, obviously, Sergio Aguero. From the spot, though. From the spot. Goals a goal, though. Goals a goal. When the first scored, I was absolutely buzzing. But City, as they did, what they need to be doing this season, under new management, obviously, under Pep's new system... Quickly saying, Joe Hart was left out of this game. He was left out. I was watching the analysis after the game, and Graham Souness was saying how Joe Hart might have to stay one or two years trying to fight for his place. But surely England's number one can't be fighting for his place. He needs to be playing every week. So whether it's because Pep Guardiola wants a goalkeeper to be good with his feet, because that's what Neuer had at Bayern Munich... I mean, they were showing that, I believe, last season, Joe Hart had 500 touches of the ball in the Prem, as where Neuer had 2,000, where, as you know, Neuer's comfortable with his feet. He's quick off his line. He likes to get out. He likes to. He doesn't mind having the ball played to him in a tight situation, whereas Joe Hart will probably just boot it. And that's not how Pep Guardiola wants it to be played. So that's an interesting... That was one of my points. Joe Hart left out. Like, what, what's the situation with him now? Bournemouth hosted Man United. Obviously, Jose Mourinho's first game in the Prem. There's so many new managers. <laughs> I love it. So many new managers. He hit the ground one in, one in, running with a 3-1 victory over Bournemouth. Ibrahimovic getting on the score sheet. Juan Mata. And who got the other one? Obviously, it was Rooney. I remember it was that header. The ball got flicked in across the box, if you haven't seen it. And it was one of those headers. Rooney's directed it across the across the keeper into the far corner. It was actually a really good header. Matters was a bit scrappy, but Ibrahimovic has taken nothing away from him. The goal, I'll actually try and find it, and I'll pop it here for you. 
It looked like he just placed it. It was very similar to Diego Costa's, if you haven't seen it. It just ended up in the bottom corner from about 25 yards. Solid debut from Zlatan, and that's all. Now we move on to one of the most exciting games this weekend, which fell on, which fell on the Sunday, and that was obviously Arsenal-Liverpool, where it was 4-3 to Liverpool, one of the most exciting games I've seen for a while, just live on TV. It was just quality to watch. There was a missed penalty. There was loads of goals. There was a brilliant free kick that was scored. It had a little bit of everything. The only thing it was missing was a red card. But then some people sometimes say a red card can ruin a game because then other teams get dominated. But it doesn't always work like that. But Arsenal fans, this is very interesting for you guys because opening day of the season, you've conceded four goals. Now, obviously, I'm a Spurs fan, so but I'm just going to say my opinion. You guys are not going to probably agree with me. But you guys need to sign players. I know you guys need it as well because it's like no one actually wants to come to Arsenal. You've been rejected by Jamie Vardy. There's a lot of you that still slate Theo Walcott. The only time you do like him is when he scores goals. Um, I mean, I know that happens for a lot of players, but it was very similar when we had Adebayor. I only liked him when he scored. While I'm talking about that, just listen to what Thierry Henry has to say about the same situation because it's just like no one actually wants to sign for Arsenal drives me even more crazy is it looks like players don't want to come to play for Arsenal Football Club and I mentioned it before Vardy rejected Arsenal for whatever reason I'm not talking about why I'm talking that he refused Arsenal and it, it, it seems like it's difficult to attract players I don't know why but it, it seems like it I totally agree Thierry totally agree mate like who's going to want to go to Arsenal how many more seasons is Wenger going to get? Like, you're going to give him another 10 seasons or what? I feel like he's too loyal to the players that are below par. There's players like Walcott. He's just not good enough. He's up there on his own. Where? That's, that's not good enough. You've got a solid keeper. Yes, you've got Czech. Czech's brilliant. You're not going to lie. No, no one's going to hate that. Coquelin, he's like the Eric Dyer of Spurs. That's what people are probably going to compare him to. You've got Sanchez, who apparently there's transfer rumours. Bloody hell. R.I.P. if you lose him. You needed Ozil today, though. You 100% needed him. But let's forget Arsenal. I don't really care about them. It's up to you. Drop me some comments. Tell me what you think. What's going to happen? You're going to sign any more players? Probably not, I know. <laughs> Is it going to be another long season for you? But then, look, you grind out the victories, Arsenal, and that's what I hate. You still finished second last year. That just shows. Like, you can do it. As much as I don't want you to do it, it's... It's just painful for you guys to watch games like this. You can't be conceding four on the opening day of the season. Which leads me on to Liverpool. Klopp, love the guy. You can't not love him. How can you not love the guy? I mean, the passion he shows is unreal. But their attacking threat this year is honestly unbelievable. I think Mane, people ripped me when I said he's not worth 30 million. I'm sorry, that goal that he scored. I'm going to have to show you the goal from Mane though if you haven't seen it yet. He picks the ball up, he sprints past the fullback, cuts inside. I believe it was Chambers that he got past and he whips the most beautiful left foot, like the cleanest left foot, ping straight into that top corner out of nowhere. He created that goal all by himself. You can't justify a prize tag by one goal, people were saying, but... That goal was good enough to win the game. And like that's what Liverpool signed him for. They've got Firmino, Coutinho. Coutinho, look, that's another player. The goal he scored. I'm showing you guys this goal. The free kick. I'm genuinely worried about Liverpool this season. They're going to finish high up. They're going to do well. They've got a brilliant manager. The only position that they keep getting slaughtered for is the left back. One thing that I did forget to mention while I was recording this video is there was a debate on Twitter whether Pyatt's free kicks are better than that Coutinho one. Now I'm showing you a couple of Pyatt's free kicks right here and now. How do you think they compare? Because that Coutinho one was just unreal. Oh, the cameo, it's Payet! He's done it! It was within his range! Let me know in the comment section down below. In Moreno, or Moreno, however you say his name. Liverpool fans, you might as well play with 10 men at times. I've got a couple of mates that are Liverpool fans and they cannot stand him. He needs to be gone. He needs to go. They need to sign a replacement now. If they do that, then I mean they're gonna be they're gonna be right up there this season. I'm not a big fan of Minulay. Don't think he's a quality keeper, but we'll see how they do. Remember they've still got Sturridge to come back as well. Liverpool are gonna be a threat. And they've still got Benteke. Let me just chuck that in there. Palace have had a 23 million bid rejected plus add-ons. 23 million, if they're not playing him. Why don't they just get rid of him? Liverpool fans, give me your feedback on that. Now, last but not least, I know I've dragged this on way too long. Remember, it's the first one I've ever done, and it's the first 
first game of the season, so I just wanted to get all the points across, grab it on a little bit. I know I can do that anyway, but we've got Chelsea against West Ham. Now, I was watching this game live in the other room. Chelsea absolutely dominated West Ham up to about the 60th minute when they scored. 77th, sorry, that was James Collins. Up to about the 75th minute, I honestly thought Chelsea could have been out of sight. Like, they were one nil up, Hazard got the penalties, smashed it down the roof of the net. No keeper would have saved it. But up to that, Hazard was definitely the best player. I think he got man of the match. I mean, he probably deserved it, as painful it is to say, as I don't like him, for obvious reasons. New signing Kante started, got booked within three minutes. I thought that was quite funny, but I've got him in my uh, fantasy team, so I was a bit annoyed about that. But he's going to be a quality signing, nevertheless. Like, I actually tweeted before that goal went in and said, if Chelsea don't get a second, West Ham only need one chance... And that's exactly what happened. The ball fell to James Collins from a corner. It was about 12 yards out. He lashed it home. It was actually a brilliant finish. West Ham fans going absolutely mental. They should have held on. They just couldn't hold on, though, because it was an awesome strike by Diego Costa. I'll try and find it. I don't know if I can find it. I'll try and find it. But it was exactly the same as Ibra's. He just popped it into the bottom corner from about just outside the box. But there's a but. Should he have been on the pitch... My answer is no. He shouldn't have been on the pitch. He shouldn't have been anywhere near the pitch after his slide challenge. Here it is. It's a disgraceful challenge. He's dived in on Adrian. His boots has actually gone into the, the calf bit, literally just there. How is that not a red? He's already on a yellow card. If it's not a red card, it's a second bookable offence. But, you know, he's at Chelsea's ground. Typical Chelsea. But one thing I do say I did love about Chelsea or any manager, I love any manager that shows passion. When their team scores, they're running up and down the touchline, they're giving it some. That's what you need. You need that in football nowadays. You can't be just having a go at your players all the time. You need to show them when you're genuinely happy, when you're banging in a goal, celebrating. I love that. Fair play, Conte. Or Kante. Conte. He's going to be a solid manager. <sighs> Will he go back to playing three at the back like he did in his previous role? We have, we'll have to wait and see if he does that at Chelsea. But other than that, his passion is 10 out of 10. And this season, he's going to be too close to call from any team. Just absolutely ridiculous. It's just going to be mental. I honestly feel like there's seven teams that could push for the title. So you've got the obvious ones. You've got your City. You've got United. You've got Liverpool. I mean, they've shown it. You've got, obviously, Arsenal always going to be up there. Spurs, I'm going to say. I mean, you've got Leicester that want to try and get back in there. And have I said Chelsea? Chelsea. I don't think I did. So there we have it. That is literally the first week. It was a brilliant week. And that brings us to that. That is bringing us to the end of the video. A very long video. If you have stuck around, drop me a tweet. I mean, because fair play to you. Because I've run, I have rabbited on the whole video. I just want to get my points across. Like I said, I love talking football. I want to know your guys' opinions. Now we go on to the 19th, 20th and 21st, which is next weekend, depending on when you're watching this video. We have Stoke, Entertain, Man City, Burnley, Liverpool, Swansea, Hull, Tottenham, Palace. My camera's in the way, so excuse me. We have <laughs> Watford, Chelsea, West Brom, Everton, Leicester, Arsenal. And that's on the Saturday. So Spurs host Palace. We'll talk about that further on. But if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I'm out of breath. Lost my voice. Bloody hell. And that is that. We're done. I'll see you guys soon. If you want to see another one, take care. Bye-bye. Jesus Christ, I rub it. Whew.